It's a cold day in Kansas City, and a lot of folks have braved the cold to come out. There's all the drama of the last race of the round of 12, and drivers who are looking for a miracle, other drivers just hoping they don't screw up. You know, having the thought of that you're moving on is nice, but we honestly put kind of a lot of emphasis on the weekend just because I feel like if you get too complacent throughout a round or throughout the playoffs that you're probably going to hurt yourself more than you're going to help. You know, it's definitely not in coast mode, but we just knew that we needed to focus on what we can control. Take care of that thing. We'll fix you up. Have a good day. We'll stay on our game the best we know how. All right, bud. This is what we live for. Let's go. The green is in the air, and we are off. Stage one was actually pretty good. We drove from 13th to 6th. We made some pretty good progress. Uh, we were 6th at the time of the caution for the 24's engine issue. Got there and had that last restart there, and, and I had a bad restart. The outside lane kind of got stacked up, got in a couple bad spots. Stenhouse and McMurray stayed out, and we were in that lane, and we just got tanked. So we fell back to like 16th or something on that restart, and he had to kind of battle his way back through there to 10th. Ended up falling back further than where I felt like our car was capable of being. Joey Logano with no company in sight. He will win stage one here at Kansas Speedway. Green flag in the air. All the playoff contenders are in the top 14 spots. I had some confidence, felt like our long run speed was okay, but certainly not great. I started going fast, it started turning. We got to tuning on it and got it better, and ultimately got, I thought, pretty close. Three, two, one. The pit stops were pretty crucial, really good pit stops. All right couple guys that certainly were going to be hard to pass had some pit road issues and then our car was good on green runs so as we got those green runs we could mow guys down and we could pass guys. Here comes Kevin Harvick so dominant green checkered flag and stage two is complete. Go 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 go. Nice work boys. Got to second on pit road. Pit stops honestly were, were probably the biggest place where we gained time. 101 laps to go. Harvick and Elliott, row one. Green flag. Harvick selected the outside lane for the restart. It's going to be a good call. In line with you. Still there. Coming, Blaney. He's going to take Ryan Blaney with him to second. And the 12 got by us on the restart. On that outside being a little bit of a preferred lane, and we were able to pass him. I kind of had to drive to the bottom and slide up in front of him, and I'm sure he knew that was the only way you were going to make any ground. Closing up here now. I want you cross over. You know, it just kind of worked out with the way the lap car was. He didn't have a lane to cross back over. He probably could have forced the issue there and taken a chance on wrecking both of us. I think we have enough respect for each other. He kind of knows that we have to race hard, and, you know, I'm going to have to do what I have to do, and so is he. I get that. I thought we made some pretty decent ground on the four. I got about as close as I think I was going to get and was going to kind of have to have a mistake from him to pass him on that run. We never got super close to him, but you know we could get within six tenths of a second or so. So I, I liked our chances. You know I felt like we needed to get him on that pit cycle. That was ultimately our goal. Uh, we wanted to you know pit a lap before he did, but certainly they played this game before. They knew that. Got lucky with his penalty to not have to deal with him. Four ahead, you got a penalty. Do not worry about Harvick. He got a penalty. Four too fast on pit road section four pass through. Pass through penalty for the guy who has been so dominant, Kevin Harvick, busted for speeding. Their misfortune obviously worked out for us, but uh, you'd love to love to race those guys straight up and, and see who is the better. Yeah, there's obviously a long ways to go. I didn't really expect it to go green from there to the end. Chase Elliott, last thing he wants to see is a caution flag. They're trying, other drivers are to get the yellow flag out. A moment ago, it was Jimmy Johnson. I was kind of waiting on the caution to come out, so I was glad, glad it didn't. We were watching a huge lead by Chase Elliott just a little while ago. That is gone. Kyle Busch is closing in. I got really tight on that last run as Kyle both cows were catching me. The leaders got a tough job because of the guys you're lapping. You know, they want to stay in the lead lap, and, and a couple of guys raced us really hard and didn't race Kyle hard. That was disappointing. Him and the 42 kind of found the lane right up against the wall that was making some time on me. Okay, he was pretty much rip riding the wall, both corners. He could get a little bit of speed out of it uh, right up against the fence, and he was doing a good job of that. I was fixing to move up there and, and have to kind of start running it, and the 11 hit the wall right in front of me, and I felt like that was my sign to not do that. So 
I uh, just kind of stuck with what I've been doing, and luckily it was enough. The statement win for Chase Elliott off turn four. He won at Watkins Glen. He won at Dover. Today, he wins at Kansas Speedway. Yeah, buddy. That's three, and we are coming. That's right, that's right. Hell yeah, boys, let's go. Burn that thing down, buddy. Great round for us, for sure. Have to appreciate it, enjoy it, and, and move on.